you get in the way. You're not. The difference is women, you know what? Well, I shouldn't say women. Women talk too much. They will tell their friend and do you understand what I mean? And men do it too. You neglecting your woman and you bragging to your friends about neglecting your woman. Good chance. Your friend is Joe Grind. I'm telling you this. Same for women. You got problems with a man and you're telling your friend, man, I will let you, you know, but he's foop so sweet. You think your friend is like, yeah, you know, get back together. She's going to be like, dump the dog. Fuck him. Women's power and rights. And then two weeks, you're going to catch them in bed together. When you got problems, keep it to yourself. That is why people just get horned because there's tech their problems in the street and tell people and the people this Use that as ammunition. Men, if you look bad, you can probably get horned. But you probably won't if you look bad and you got money and you can foop. You just can't be deficient across the board. You can't be brack ugly and can't foop. You're going to get horned. In fact, I can be surprised if you get the woman because <laughs> I know the women out there ain't checking for that there. You understand? It ain't happening. So, you could be a good looking man, but if you're Breck, there's a good chance you can get horned. He's a good looking man. You can't foop. You better invest in some Viagra. You're laughing, but Viagra saving people's lives. I know men in the 30s that take in Viagra and their wife ain't horning them no more. So, I'm telling you this, this is a country statistic. It has been tried, tested, and proven. Proven. Okay, so men, either if you're ugly, get your act together. Do not have a cross the board deficiency. You want to play ball with the guys on Sunday? A man playing ball with your wife in your house. You understand what I'm saying? You want to grind up on the girl Friday night? Joe grind climbing through your window. I'm telling you, this ain't not, you understand? So it's very simple. Women don't horn for complex reasons. Very straight. This is a straight week, straight time, straight everything. So why people were asking me why I horned a particular individual. And the reason why I did this is such that thou, cause he was an asshole. And just when you an asshole, it's just be like, hey, yeah, that fella did look good. Come on, bring, bring it. All right. Yeah, bag it. Do you understand what I mean? So it's like, you be mean to your girl, another guy's going to sweet her up. You know what I mean? <laughs> like... This is what happens, I'm telling you. And women now, now this is men. Push aside here, now I come into the women. Women, you horning you man, and you're, you, you see this sweet guy, he treating you nice and this and that. Actually, I should say this to the men too. Everybody, you horning your significant other, okay? Do not make any drastic moves with the horny. <laughs> do you understand what I mean? Do not leave home. Don't leave your family for the person you are using your little rendezvous with. Because you know what will happen? There's no such thing as love. I want everybody today to look at I and I Babsi Rastafari and listen to me when I tell you there is no such thing as love. The, there is only such thing as like and tolerance. I may like someone to tolerate them around me for a lengthy period of time. I love no one. I love my mother. I love God. I love Bentley. <laughs> Do you understand what I mean? I love no man. I don't care what you tell me. I don't care what you think you know. There is no such thing as love. I will tolerate a man to the extent that if he was 70 and his bowels became slack and he could not hold his shite, would I wipe his ass? These are the things I just study when I think about tolerance. When you talk cunt and I want to drop kick you, do I actually drop kick you? Yes or no? If I do, I don't like you. <laughs> if I don't, you are a good candidate to be liked and tolerated in my book. So understand people, do not leave the woman at, in your home and go to some stray woman because she has not tolerated you and liked you long enough to keep you because when she smell your cheesy foot and when she smell your farts and when she see you fling down your towel in the bathtub she can run you because women that does be dealing with horning and men that is dealing with horning deal with it in a closed bracket come and foop go home you might get a plate of rice that's all that fitting in this box. But all you nastyisms and you fuck up dirty ways, the wife taking that, 
she ain't taking that. He ain't taking that. The husband will take it. But the hornies ain't taking it. Okay? That's my discussion for today. Anyways, I'm not shouting out anybody because I don't like no one this week. People piss me off. I vex. I want to kill people yesterday and choke people. People telling me, calm down. That one mad Bajan asking me if someone pissing my tea and all kind of thing. I just get aggravated. I, I, people say I got road rage. I don't have road rage. I have life rage. If you cut me off to almost throw me in a ditch, I will fucking kill you. This is not road rage. You are jeopardizing my life. If you talk hard to my mother, I will choke you. This is life rage. I like my life. So I can rage over my life. Don't fuck with me on the road. Don't fuck with me in the mall. Don't fuck with me in the bank. Life rage. You understand? Good. People, speaking about bank. I gone. But listen, I want to tell these particular people who keep coming around me, begging me for rassle money. I have no ready done about here. So I wheeling out to this hard tune. And I can see you guys next week. Bye. You guys should know this song if you have any, like, you know, music sense. Let me turn on my diva fan. Running to steal. Yeah, too much ready done. Go look, Rasso work and left me. I is work every day. Fuck you. I gone.